now, is it? We don't want any ugly interruptions now, do we? Just you and me doing a little dance. Last dance. I understand you've been clamoring for your husband. Ordinarily, that's an instinct I would applaud. But in this case, you got a little conflict of interest. You want to tell your husband the cop what you overheard in the alley when I was conducting a private meeting with my employee. You want to tell him what neither one of you should know. I don't want that to happen. You see my problem? They say timing is everything. Yours was pretty bad that night. What? What are you going... To do with this, you mean? Oh, you're worried about this? There's no need. I'm not one of those overly dramatic types who has to stab somebody 37 times and then literally walk away with blood on his hands. I'm much more subtle than that, more creative. You and I are just going to talk for now. Um, may I digress with a question that's been puzzling me? Where's your pride? What? And look at the situation you're in. All because you got the hots for some junky cop who, let's be frank, they couldn't give two struts for you. It's not true. Sure it is. You come in a distant third. If you keep in mind that drugs will always be number one on Detective Spencer's hit parade. Lucky doesn't use. Maybe he didn't. He does now. He wasn't on this case a week before he started sampling the product. No. Okay, you got me. Maybe we did help him out a little. Two of my guys held him down, and another injected him with some primo persuasion. Quality joy juice. They said it was like watching somebody come home. Of course, you know what happens next. Now that the urge has been tapped and fulfilled, his every waking thought will be consumed by where his next high comes from. There's no room in that equation for you. He's worked so hard. For sobriety, I know. Falling off the wagon is so terrible. Don't set him back. Oh, that's almost touching. Such concern for a guy who doesn't give a crap. You'd never know what to look at me, but I'm a big believer in true love. Warms my heart when it prevails. And I could use a little heartwarming right now. Fortunately... You're in the way. Do you garden? Roses used to be my passion, but I recently discovered orchids. What a flower. Do you know that orchids have been growing for over 100 million years in constant evolution? Isn't that amazing? It's such fragile beauty coupled with such a fierce will to survive. Do you have a will to survive? <laughs> yeah, I know you do. Beautiful thing, life. You wondering what this is? This is a little something I got from my doc. That's one of the perks of my business. I have doctors who work for me so I can avoid sitting in waiting rooms trying to convince some MD that I get the right symptoms for the drug I need. All I gotta do is call up my guy 20 minutes later, bidding ba doop ba up. I'm all set. The drugs. Oh, those drugs, the bakery. I'm just doing a simple turnaround, spreading the wealth. Low dosage for street sales is higher bang for the bucks. But this particular solution here, this is genius. Tributyl chloro... Tri... Tri... Tribute... Can never get the pronunciation right. You notice I haven't opened it all the way. That's because I need some information from you. I need to know if you told anyone else what you heard in the alley that night. No. 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 Smart girl. Usually that discretion would have saved your life, but like I said, I'm motivated by something more intangible. 
love. Two star-crossed lovers fighting against all odds for the joy of each other's permanent company. It's a beautiful thing, destiny. A beautiful thing in an ugly world. So I do what I can to further the cause. And that's where you come in. Not only do you have big, nosy ears, but you're an impediment on the path to true love. And as long as you're a factor, Lucky and Elizabeth cannot fulfill their destiny. And it just so happens I'd really like them to. I'd like to give back. Just try to relax and go with the flow. <laughs> Life's full of surprises, isn't it? Let me take death. Uh, maybe that's too sensitive a subject. I take uh, Morgan's cyber pet, Spinelli. Yeah, he was the one who actually gave me the idea that used Rosetta's bakery as a front for the drug operation. That's it. Just let go. You're about to be in eternal peace. Huh. What's that they say in Ireland? Huh. May the devil know you're dead a half an hour after you're in heaven, yeah. It's too late. Believe it or not, you caught me on a good day. My plans for Lucky aren't at this gentle. He's gonna die slow. One pill at a time. Siobhan. She woke up for a bit, and I got to talk to her. Yeah, uh, how is she? Uh, she seems fine. We talked about you and me and everything in between. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little on edge. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the defensive. No, no, you're, you're fine. Listen, um, is, is there anything I need to know before I talk to her? Like what? How she's going to say I try to kill her again? Just tell me what you know. Only that I think she's going to be okay. That we're all going to come out of this okay.
Siobhan? Oh, oh my God. What? What? She, she, what, what, what happened? I thought you said she's fine. I, 